Doctor Who Face the Raven. Now, as usual, I do want to point out early on that there will be spoilers in this review. However, I also want to point out there will be a major death spoiler in this review as well. So, if you are one of those people who considers death spoilers kind of above and beyond regular spoilers, turn the video off now. You have been warned. Uh, that being said, let's move right into this episode. I'm not going to lie, I'm going to be very upfront with you. I found this episode very underwhelming. I've said several times in the reviews that I review these based on the content that accompanies them, that being the rest of their series or franchise. And I do intend on reviewing more things down the line, so that fact is going to become more and more imp important as we go. That means that when I call an episode of Doctor Who average, I'm calling it average amongst episodes of Doctor Who, which the average episode of Doctor Who is still an hour of television that I consider to be well above average for the rest of television. And while I do consider this a must-see episode because of the aforementioned death spoiler, I don't rate this episode even average. I, in fact, relate it pretty below average compared to other Doctor Who episodes. That being said, I don't fault you at all if you feel differently than I do. I just didn't get from this episode what I think this episode was trying to give. As for the episode itself, Clara's friend, Riggsy, who we have seen in other episodes, who honestly hasn't made that much of an impression on me, but I still like him. He calls Clara on her magic space phone because she gave him the number at some point and says that he has a problem. So she and the doctor come to Earth and find that he has a tattoo on the back of his neck that is actually physically counting down. They retrace his steps and they find that the previous night, on a day that he has no memory of whatsoever, he stumbled into a secret refugee village for aliens on Earth. And he apparently killed someone. And this place is full of all kinds of diverse aliens, some of which are enemies to the Doctor. But they keep the peace there because they have an infallible, unstoppable method of execution. That being the tattoos, which are in this context called chronologues. When the chronologue counts down, this raven that's not really a raven and it isn't really explained all that well, it flies out of its cage, flies into you, and you die, and nothing can stop it except for the mayor. The mayor can really remove the chronolock because it is the mayor who imposes the chronolock. And the mayor is a shielder from the, the girl who died and the woman who lived. And what a waste of a fantastic guest character. They, they put her in this role, which literally could have been filled by any high build guest character. There was no reason for it to be her, except that by the end of the episode, because of the aforementioned death, the Doctor now hates her. Why? Why? Why did this have to happen? Just it was such a waste. That is really the perfect way of putting it. They wasted her character here. It was absolutely stupid. None of her charm or wit or banter with the Doctor was present. She felt like a completely different character. And I just, I thought it was dreadful. Anyway, the Doctor and Clara set out to prove that Riggsy didn't kill anybody so they can get the chronolock lock removed. And it should have been this really dramatic murder mystery in this fantastic, almost like Harry Potter-esque town. Harry Potter-esque, but sci-fi, with all of these different kinds of aliens and their technology on Earth, hidden in a back alley on Earth. And we should have been immersed in this culture that they've developed. But it all just fizzled out. There just wasn't any real substance to it. While it's still a fantastic concept that I really hope they do more with in the future, it just wasn't explored here nearly as well as it could have been. And then, because she's so sure that they'll be able to have everything sorted out and stop the chronolog, Clara does do the one thing she can to kind of alleviate Riggsy's stress, because another person, if they agree, can take the chronolog upon themselves. So without telling the doctor, which is stupid, she takes the chronolog upon herself. And this is out of character in so many ways, I could do an entirely separate video on why it's so out of character. It felt like this scene was written just to get Clara into the position they need her to be in later in the episode, which I'm sure you see coming at this point now. Everybody did. So the doctor, he completes the murder mystery, finds out that no one was actually killed, and then it's revealed that a shielder is in some kind of Lando Calrissian situation where a still yet unknown force forced her to lure the doctor to the town so that he could be teleported away to some still undisclosed location. And that all of this was towards that end. But that because Clara took the chrono lock upon herself, 
Somehow that alters the deal and now it can't be removed? Why? That was never established. Is that a rule of the chronologue itself? Or is it a rule imposed by these people? If so, why? Why would that be part of the agreement? Why would that be one of the terms? It makes no sense. It was written into this episode just so that Clara would die. If there had even been some lampshading or a very basic explanation above and beyond, well, you altered the agreement, then I could have been okay with it. But it just doesn't make any sense. As presented, and the one saving grace of this episode is that Jenna and Peter Capaldi have a fantastic scene where they say goodbye to each other. It's beautiful. Jenna, you're great. I love you. You're a fantastic actress. Uh, Clara isn't my favorite companion of Doctor Who. Ace all the way, bitches. She's not even my favorite companion of new Doctor Who. But she was a great character, and I really hope that Jenna Coleman ha goes on from here to do some other stuff that she really wants to do. And I hope she had a fun time working on this show. I'm just really sorry that she went out in such an underwhelming episode. <sighs> so anyway, Clara dies. And she, for, to her own credit, faces her death with courage. Which is where we get the title, Face the Raven. And then the Doctor is teleported away to parts unknown. End. And granted, this episode does return to the two-part episode format. So, the second part of this episode could be great and make up for a lot of the deficiencies here. But when it comes right down to it, Clara is dead. That's permanent. She's not coming back. That can't be undone. And including her death in this episode that was overall so underwhelming when New Who has been so good at giving us epic companion exit episodes was a mistake. But guys, if you have seen this episode, what did you think of it? Let's get a discussion going in the comment section down below. I feel like there's going to be a few. Either way, this has been AJ22, and I will talk to you guys later.